Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. So this is the backtracking episode or indoor episodes. I don't know how long the backtracking is actually going to take me, so that is a good question. Uh, I believe, I believe if you want to get this trouble clef, it's above here. I think you're supposed to like, huh, maybe it was a clockwork because you're supposed to shoot on the building. I know there's like another way you can do it if you're like skilled enough. But I don't quite remember how. I want to say it was like... You do it like this. Cool. Try one more time. Nope, never mind. Alright, I give up. Not doing it the difficult way. We'll go ahead and just do it the norm way. Oh. Huh? Huh. Are you cereal right now? Making me waste all my clock kazooie eggs. There you go. Bada boom, guys! That is 900 notes. That's all the notes in the game. Already off to a good start, right? Right. Alright, so now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and do a bit more backtracking. Uh, I will be making jump cuts here and there just to kind of show you guys, like, where everything is and all that kind of such. Uh, shouldn't be too sloppy. Should be very coordinated, very well. I'll show off everything that needs to be shown. However... Go ahead, just take care of this guy. I can use more grenade eggs. I'll definitely be collecting eggs on the sideline, like on my own time, just to kind of have them. But yeah, we'll definitely be doing some jump cuts. Not doing one here yet, just because we can actually show this part off right now. And then we'll do some jump cuts once we like move on over to Spiral Mountain, because we're going to be going on over there next. So yeah, you want to hop on into this little area here. That looks like a Banjo-Kazooie game pack. I wonder what's inside. Oh, there's something definitely nice inside, that's for sure. Bada boom! Hello, that is the Ice Key! Yes sir, it's the fabled Banjo-Kazooie Ice Key. I wonder what it opens. Ooh, we'll definitely be figuring that out very soon, guys. That's when we go over back to Hailfire Peaks, believe it or not. But for now, we're not going to be um, using that Ice Key. We will be later. We will be later. Because there's definitely something cool to get at the end of this game, and it's awesome. You guys will really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head on over to Spiral Mountain right now, and I shall return. Alright, here in Spiral Mountain. Uh, I'm actually not gonna make a cut there, just because I didn't think it'd be that fast. <laughs> Fun fact. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and dive down into this water. This is a very important thing that we can do. Let's go to get us a Jinjo. Bada boom, guys, that is the last blue Jinjo of the game. Blue Jinjo family is complete, giving us Jiggy number 79. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, technically we'll have to revisit back back to Spiral Mountain once we get all the Cheeto pages, just for the sake of visiting Cheeto and all that such, but um, yeah, not doing that quite yet, just because, just because, what's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> I had a reason, but now my reason's like gone. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to get the Cheeto pages in the later levels because we're still missing a few. And then once we get those, we can head back, give him the Cheeto, and he'll give us cheats to put in. We're not going to be putting in any cheats, just because I'm not going to be cheating in this game. However, let's go ahead and just kind of swoosh on over this way. Go ahead and break down that. Bam! It's going to reveal to us another cartridge, guys. There's a couple cartridges for us to get here. Isn't that just fun? Alright, hopping on in here. It's been a while since we've been at Spiral Mountain, that's for sure. Bam! There we go, we got ourselves a... Uh, what's the word? Stop and swap egg. Well, 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 it's Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious pink secret egg. I wonder what's inside. Yeah, he's gonna say it like every single freaking time. Okie dokie, so now that we've gotten that egg, we're gonna hop on down here, there is something for us to do. This technically would have been helpful an early part of the game, but I was locked off the barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get rid of it. I can hardly breathe. Yeah, so this would increase how much air you have in the game. I honestly forgot to go back and get this. Oh, that's much better. Shouldn't you be in the water where it's safer? You're right. I'd probably dry up and die if I don't get back to the moat around the Spiral Mountain soon. I suppose you'll be waiting a carry then. Well, I'd walk there myself, but we goldfish are a little disadvantaged in the leg department. You're not wrong. We'll carry on over, little fella. No, like, I'm, I'm legit surprised I didn't do that earlier in the game, because that gives you more air bubbles to work with, but there's just, like, there's just not enough swimming segments in the game to where, like, it's super dangerous to swim underwater. So, 
Here's some bubbles, right? Bubbles? We want at least a jiggy for that. Sorry, I'm all out of those. However, I'll also teach you how to swim faster. Press A and B together. Cheerio. Yeah, I feel kind of bad now. I probably should have done that a little earlier on, because we can also swim faster now. That would have been, like, super mega useful. There we go. There's some cl clockwork kazooie eggs. I'm not making that mistake again. So yeah, sorry, sorry that I did not get the fish early on in the game, guys. That is probably something that would have made my life at least a little bit easier, but... Once again, not a big deal. Technically, I just played like a slightly harder version of Banjo-Tooie with the swimming segments. Once again, it really wasn't that difficult. There really wasn't what we'd call a lot of swim segments, and even when you did... Um... Why am I in here? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in here yet. Sorry, Mr. Cheeto. We'll have to see you later. But yeah, no, like, what I find funny is that, technically speaking, if I had gotten that, uh, fish into the pond, that would have made Jolly Rogers Lagoon a little bit faster in terms of swim speed. That's probably the only thing that I'm regretting right now, so I could have been a little bit faster with that. But, once again, not a huge deal. Not a big deal. We managed to get through that level just fine. So, it's probably the only regret I'm going to have in the series, was just not getting the fish at the beginning. But, to, to my credit, I honestly forgot about the fish. Like, sorry if that sounds like a major issue, but, like, I totally forgot about that fish. Just not a very memorable thing to be like, hey, let's head back to Spiral Mountain just to save that fish. Like, I, I completely forgot about that. So you're gonna have to, like, pardon me on that. Bada boom! It's going to be another game pack that we just beat up, and it says, wow, it's Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious blue secret egg. I wonder what's inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Jim Jars. I know where you're going with that. That should be the last of the eggs. I don't think we have any more eggs to get in the backtracking. So let's go ahead and hop on out of here. And now, now that we got the eggs and all that kind of such, we're pretty much done with Spiral Mountain as a whole. So I shall see all of you guys next time when we go to... Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to make it sound like I'm concluding an episode. I'll see all of you guys when we get to Wooded Hollow where we can hatch these eggs. So I shall return. Alright, hop on back into Wooded Hollow. And we are good to go now. I, I was like thinking to myself, like, why didn't I do this first? I'm like, oh right, I had to get the effing eggs. So that is not the location to get over to the egg place. I'm sorry. That's a way out of here. We don't want to use that. We want to go this way. This way is where we'll find a huge giant egg. Huge giant egg to go inside. Hey, we got some eggs that we can get here. I'm going to get some grenade eggs because I can actually use some of those. I don't know what other eggs I need. Let me check. Uh, I could be filling fire eggs. That would be something nice to get soon. Here we go. Heggy's egg shed. Cluck, Heggy the hen. Cluck, find special egg. Cluck, got both special e Heggy eggs. Piece of cake, actually. Cluck, skinny bird, Heggy's hero. Cluck, throw them in nest. Throw nests, my bad. Now there's another egg up there that we can do for a test drive. We'll do that here in just a sec. Bada boom. I think Heggy, yeah, here we go. Cluck, watch Heggy hatch. Yeah, so Heggy's gonna hatch the blue one, I guess? Heggy, you don't do all of these, right? I remember you only doing one of them. She might actually do both, I have no idea. What do we get for that one? Cluck, special Heggy Egg Award homing eggs. Cluck, very nice. Cluck, go to Cheeto code room and enter homing to enable feature. Yeah, so homing eggs is definitely nice. We're not gonna be using any cheat codes. I wanna beat Gruntilda legitly my own strength. Cluck. Special Heggy Egg Award Breagle Bash. Cluck. Press B and B again for Skinny Bird Bash. Cluck. So funny. I mean, yeah, I can do that. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Heggy done now, Cluck. You must hatch other egg. Yes, yeah, so if you go over here, let's try it. Bam! He can basically, uh, abuse Kazooie now. That is a move we have. And it's not necessarily something I would say we should use. I mean, you can. Would recommend it, though. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, I'm gonna hop onto this egg after Kazooie's brain damage and hope that she can ha remember how to hatch an egg. So there we go. I'm not even too sure what the thumbnail's gonna be in terms of, like, backtracking. Maybe I'll make it Heggy. Special Heggy Egg Award Jinjo as multiplayer character. Cluck, who is Jinjo? <laughs> Doesn't even know. Yeah, in the multiplayer, I've basically just unlocked the Jinjo character. You can play as a Jinjo, uh, shooting... Yeah. It's, uh, Jinjo shooting. Jinjos can shoot now. So that's neat. 
But yeah, n not not a necessary thing in the game for 100% technically, because the eggs and all that are secret and special. However, uh, figured I'd at least do it. Ugh, frick, I'm tired. Alright, so we need to head to the plateau. That'd be our next location. And I think... I don't know if we actually have all the empty honeycomb pieces. Let me check real quick. Let me check all my items. We got like nine empty honeycomb pieces. I don't remember if we got everything. So let me go ahead and count. Let me see real quick. I want to say we got all the empty honeycomb pieces. Yeah, we should have them all. So I think we can get that upgrade. In terms of jiggies, on like how many jiggies we're missing. We're missing one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're missing ten jiggies. Okay. Pretty sure we're missing ten, ten jiggies. And then in terms of Jinjos, let me just check Cheeto Pages and Jinjos at the same time. Just making sure. So we're missing one Cheeto Page and Pterodactyl Land. We know where that one is. And... Alright, just checking, just checking. I think we literally have all the gingers in this game. That was the last ginger we had to collect before. Check gingers real quick. Yes. No, wait, gingers. We're missing one ginger. We're missing the purple ginger. Where is the purple ginger again? I just viewed my totals. I don't even know where I missed a ginger. Oh, we're missing a ginger in Ilo Hags. Okay. I'm trying to remember where that is now. That's actually really bothering me. And we have another jiggy here in Ilo Hags that we can get. Okay. Well, we'll definitely remember when we see it, but for now, let's go ahead and get the extra health wedge. That sounds like a plan, right? Sounds like something useful to get. Fire eggs. I could use fire eggs, wasn't it? Oh, we'll go ahead and get a clockwork kazoo egg just to kind of get those out of the way. I can collect eggs as I go on. But yeah, let's hop on in here and actually get some upgraded, right? Get some more health. This will be our last health wedge, but nonetheless, it'll be a huge bar. I'm Honeybee, I'll trade you for an extra blah blah blah. Alright, Honeybee. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw my sticky honey at you, and you can go ahead and give us an upgrade. Bada boom. Increase my energy bar. Make it bigger. Toss your honeycombs over here, then, Big Bear. Bam. Here's your extra energy. There we go, guys. And we got a freaking huge little heck bar. And there will be no more upgrades for the game. But that's okay, because we are pretty much decked out. See how much health you have for the final fight. It's so useful. Use that, like, leeway. So yeah, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and go on into Glitter Gulch Mine. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Mayhem Temple. I'm sorry, guys. That's my B. I totally forgot we were supposed to go here. Alright, so there was... Let me check the backtrack real quick, real just to get a good idea. So Mayhem Temple, we were missing one Jiggy. I'm trying to remember what that one was. I'm missing one Jiggy here in Mayhem Temple. Hmm. <laughs> what Jiggy was that, though? Was it actually... Does it actually count as the one that we're going to glitter... Or we're going to be saving the Mildred character here? I think their name was Mildred. I don't remember. Whatever their name was. No, wait, Mildred was the Ice Cube wife, wasn't it? No, I'm thinking of the wrong freaking wife. This is somebody else. Alright, stand back. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Bam! There you go. Eek! Thanks very much for unblocking my passage. It's worth a jiggy. Hand it over, you plague-ridden pest. Eek! You'll have to come and see my master Bill about that. Alright, alright. Well, at least that's technically taken care of, so we'll go ahead and pop our head on in here and see if that's actually the jiggy, and it's just attached to Mayhem Temple. We'll see. How is that road not here, though? That's my question. My road partner, Delberta, is still messing. Funny you should say that. We had another look round and managed to find her. There she is now. Hi, honey, I'm home. Delberta? Is that really you? I'm so happy you found my Delberta. Take this pretty little gold nugget as a reward. Thank you very much. I think the music's supposed to go happy now. Oh, never mind. Still the same. God, I love their happiness. There we go, that's Jiggy number 80! Let me go ahead and check my toes real quick. Does that count as a... Mayhem Temple Jiggy? That does not. So there is still a Jiggy here in Mayhem Temple that we need to go collect. Basically, that gave us a, um... What's what I'm looking for here? Glitter Gulch Mine! 
Uh, that gave us a Glitter Gulch mine, Jiggy. However, I do remember now. I do remember what we're supposed to do here. That is correct. Oh, thank God we can swim faster now. Check that frick out. Look at that. If you press both buttons together, you can just go super fast. Very nice. So you want to hop on up here, and there's this huge boulder we couldn't get before. Fire eggs. Let's go ahead and get those real quick while we're at it. Bam! There we go. Go ahead and get one of these. Very nice. Alright. So we want to hop on in here now. And get this, like, little jiggy puzzle thing going. Because we're supposed to hit these in a certain order, I think. That's not it. One of these is it. That's it? Alright, that's the first one. My bad. So yeah, it's gonna go ahead and knock it on over to the other side. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn around. I'm supposed to like turn around and start hitting them. I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. We're supposed to go in a circle. So yeah, definitely pick the right direction. Good old prison compound. Alright, wait for it. Another hit. Technically, you can stop a little earlier if you really wanted to and use like a clockwork kazooie egg. But we're not going to. I'm not going to bother with that today. Okay, and then the last one. That should be it. Then we can just go up there and collect our prize. Bada boom. Makes my life so much easier to get this. I don't think you have to hit the last one. Is there like another one you can hit? Yeah, we don't need to hit that. That's just silly talk. Alright, heading up the staircase. This is a very easy jiggy to get. I completely forgot about it, not gonna lie. But at least I know what it is now. It's just like, it sort of, sort of just hit me as soon as we got the other jiggy by us saving Delberta. So there we go. That is the last jiggy of Mayhem Temple. We officially have, I think, two levels completely finished now. The only level we got to completely finish all at once was the uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. So that is, that, that is one level down, and we have another one to go. Let's go ahead and get that other Jiggy and Glitter Gulch mine. Alright, uh, that is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> Oops, you I'm about to say outside the crushing shed. That's where we want to go. That's going to get us a pretty easy Jiggy as well. This is going to be one of those easy backtracking Jiggies. I looked forward to this one. Just for how freaking easy it is. You literally just want to break this down. Gotta get those jumping boots that you have to earn in a different world. Go way over here. And jump a -roni. Here you go, guys. That is Jiggy number 82. Pretty simple, right? And then that should conclude Glitter Gulch Mine. We are officially done with Glitter Gulch Mine. Now we're going to be heading on into Witchy World. We've got one whole Jiggy to get there. So I shall return. Alright, so for our next Jiggy, I believe we're supposed to use the split-up pads here. Can this take us to the train station? I actually don't remember. Space zone outside Humblewood. No, 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 no. Okay, we don't need any of those. Mubby. That's okay. We can go ahead and walk over there manually. Use our Legos. You know, I meant to say Legos in just like a funny way of saying leg, like but with O's at the end. And it just reminds me of the god dang Legos. <laughs> Good job, me. Product placement. Sponsor me, Legos. Sponsor me. Don't actually. <laughs> Not worthy of being sponsored. At least for Lego standards. Like, holy crap. Lego's huge. Alright. Swoop you up real quick. There we go. You're supposed to do this before. But, yeah, basically, uh, long story short, for people who watch Witchy World, or maybe some of those who are just jumping on into the backtracking episode, uh, we fed him a burger, and he was like, Yeah, I want a burger, I'm fat. And then he ate it, and he's like, Oh, now I don't feel so well. So, then he's like, I can't walk all the way back to mommy. And, like, now I've got him in my backpack, because, uh, it's not an issue no more. I can carry big people in my backpack. I got a magical backpack, man. When you really think about it, there was no explanation to Banjo's backpack. It was just like, it was just randomly magical. You could just do things, man. It could fit people in there. Like, we were just taught moves that just all of a sudden gave us the ability to fit things in our backpack other than just Kazooie and tons of eggs. So that's neat. All right, so let's go ahead and get all the way over here to Mrs. Boggy. Go ahead and take your huge little hex sun out of the backpack. Bada boom. What did I tell you about not running off? I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd still better want your dinner. It was that strange bear, Mom. He made me eat this burger. Enough of your lies. 
Bam! 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 Yeah, you dumb kid. Well, I think we've all had enough excitement today. Time to go back home to Hailfire Peaks. Boggy will be wondering where we've gone to. He'd better have the dinner in the oven. Bye then. Thanks again, Banjo. Take this jiggy I found in the ticket office earlier. And that is an image I wish I did have to see ever again. Like, for the love of Christ, <laughs> please. Put those things away. Wear a bra, at least. Like, do us all a favor. Like, just please. <laughs> so Sorry to sound a little nitpicky here, but, uh, come on now. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more of these. Oh, wait, we're already full on that. How many eggs do I have? I've been collecting eggs on the sidelines. Oh, oh wait, I'm just banjo. No wonder I can't check eggs. My bad. Uh, let me go and check my totals for this world. Yes, we've got everything now in Witchy World. So let's go ahead and get Kazooie real quick. Go ahead, behind this, the big top tent. You're not allowed to leave the world without Kazooie. Kazooie won't be like, oh yeah, I'll just come back to you. Like, no, no, you have to actually go get Kazooie, so. Unfortunately, as much as I would love to have just left like that, can't do that. However, one thing we definitely can do, and we're going to do, is I'm gonna go ahead and go get a big Al burger and some fries. I know that sounds weird, but there's some backtracking that we can actually do here as well. Give me a burger, Al. Okay, kid, burger's coming right up. You want fries with that? Oh, yes, please. Well, too bad. Burgers is all I got. Go see Salty Joe. <laughs> Thanks. You guys sure do not do business here by having two separate freaking places. Better root around for some more. I think there's one just under your left foot. Where? I can't see it. <laughs> so gross still. Yeah, I, I went ahead and just got the burgers, and we're gonna go and get a fry, because I believe we're supposed to take that food back to the cavemen in uh, Pterodactyl Land. Like, I would normally try to do all the levels in order, but since this is something we had to do here anyways, might as well just, like, get it here and go on over to Pterodactyl Land and then take care of that business. Yeah, fry's coming right up. Here, have a nice day. I knew he would say that. Yep, me too. Go ahead and throw a fry in. Thank you. Hmm, I'd better start frying up some more, because I'm all out. Yes, you'd better prepare for that impending... Oh, well, I didn't get to read the last part, but he calls us cheeky. Basically, there's no line. I think it was impending line or something. I don't know. Something on those lines. That's right, I did waste a gold feather off screen once by accident. I was like, oopsies. But, now that's all fixed. So, we're gonna go ahead and just go way over here. Get some budos, and get on out of here. You're not really supposed to leave the world with food from from Witchy World, but we're not playing by Grunty's rules because fricker. I forget where the boots are, though. I'm going to climb up here. Does this take us anywhere significant? Can't say I quite remember. That is a no-go. It's just a, just a random sign you can climb. Why the heck not, right? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, I totally forgot where the boots were. Okay, they're on top of the tent. He's got to go on top of the tent at Witchy World and you'll get the boots. God, that took me a while. It's like, where are the boots? No, they're just over here, man. Did they really give you that much time to get over here, though? That's crazy talk, man. It's crazy. I can't believe they give you this much time to work with. Bada boom, okay. Well, we got the junk food now, and we can go give it to the cavemen. Thank God. And to my knowledge, I believe we only have one Jiggy here in Pterodactyl Land that we haven't gotten yet. So this should literally be the only thing we have to do. Need some food, man? Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Me need food, you got. You give? Yes! There's your fries, man. Good? Mmm, that tasty. Me all happy now. That's good. That'll be five dollars. That crap didn't come free. I mean, it kind of did, but they don't know any better. Alright, me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Me need food, you got. You give? Yes. You get the fries as well? Also, am I hearing, like, the t baby pterodactyls, like, making that noise now? That's weird. They should be making that noise, though. They should not be making that noise. I already hatched them. Oh, uh, this is the way out, isn't it? Yeah. So this must be, like, one more cave, man. I believe they are actually up here, aren't they? I forgot. Mubby. 
There you go. Just want to hop on up here. Wonderful, wonderful. Where's that guy? There you are. How's it going? You want a burger or something? Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Alright, will you give? Yes. There you go, you got a burger. I was like, I remember somebody getting a burger. He didn't just get fries. Mmm, that tasty. Me all happy now. Baron Bird Friend, save Oogle Boogle Tribe from extinction. Must have reward now. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that was a weird camera shift, though. Why are there three teeth mark? Okay, hang on. We thought chocolate was inside. Um, I didn't get to read that, but that, that sounds pretty effed up. I didn't get to read all of it, but it sounded effed up is what I meant to say. Alright, there we go, guys. That's GK number 84. Now to go get that Cheeto page real quick.